Joan Taylor is just one of many to roll up to the rib fest drive through style. I like ribs and it's going to a good cost. It's a racetrack around pylons to line up for some meat and a roll down of the windows to order. <laughs> it's all in an effort to keep people safe while returning to somewhat of a normal life. It's cool, it's different. It's a good way to like socially distance and everything and it's keeps the lines down as well. With organizers on the sidelines, ready to catch any donations. <laughs> For the organization, Youth Opportunities Unlimited. We partnered up with two local rivers to raise some funds for local youth services. It's going to help us really expand our programming here in Strathroy, Middlesex. Specifically, we're, we're increasing our footprint around housing supports because homelessness is such a struggle here for young people. So likely those are where the funds will go. It's all for a good cause, with rivers thrilled to smell some meat on the grill and to see customers in the queue once more. We personally, as the owner, took a massive hit probably in the mass gathering events section. We never saw it coming, but we made do with what we had. I'm very shocked. I can't believe the turnout yesterday. Uh, we've done, like I said, I feel like I was in a big city. We're doing what we love, which is cooking up some great barbecue and supporting a really great cause during this pandemic, which is affecting everybody. Um, but we have a really good drive through system. Everyone can get their ribs and just come out and try to enjoy uh, a little taste of summer. In a span of two days, RibFest has already raised 11000 out of a $16,000 goal for the Youth Opportunities Unlimited. But don't worry, there's still time to reach that goal. RibFest runs all throughout Sunday in Strathroy. Jordan Reed, CTV News.